Welcome. This is Hawk and Horse's Top 10 Mountain Man Movies. Number 10, Yellowstone Kelly. Now, this is a, a 1959 movie based on a book by Huck Allen. It's a pretty good movie. Not my favorite, but I have to appreciate it because of where it's filmed. And it's about the famous Yellowstone Kelly, who uh, was active after the Civil War out in Montana and into Canada. Fun fact, the movie was originally supposed to be directed by John Ford and starring John Wayne. Number nine, Whitewater Sam. This is a movie that I absolutely loved as a kid, and at the same time, it's awful. It was, it's just so poorly edited. The, the film work is not amazing. The dialogue is ridiculous. But man, I loved it. <clears throat> but as my sister would say back when I was growing up, this is so bad. Number eight, Winter Hawk. This is a really good movie. Um, it involves a Blackfoot Indian whose tribe is getting wiped out by smallpox. And so he goes on a journey to the white settlement to try to get medicine to cure himself and his tribe. It's beautifully shot out west. Put it on the list. Number seven, Man in the Wilderness. I love this movie. Richard Harris is awesome in it. Beautiful scenery. The reason it's down so low is the bear scene. Oh, the ridiculous bear scene. Man in the Wilderness is one of the many Hollywood tales of Hugh Glass getting attacked by the grizzly bear. In this one, the bear attack is kind of absurd. Not only is it a cut scene, cut scene, but the bear literally changes from a grizzly bear to a black bear to a grizzly bear, and I think to a black bear again. I don't know if this was a, a budget decision. Either way, it's kind of funny. And actually is kind of a neat feature of the movie because it's so ridiculous. Number six, A Man Called Horse. Richard Harris is at it again in another mountain man wilderness movie. This English aristocrat is captured by the Sioux Indians and adopted into their tribe. And by the end of the film, he is the leader of the tribe. It's a great movie. I love this movie. I recommend this movie. Number five. The Big Sky, based on the book from the 50s. This movie stars Kirk Douglas, and it's actually pretty dang good for being filmed back in the 50s, just after the book came out. Um, a lot of it is filmed on a set, but I feel like they do a really good job for that time, and there is tons of buckskins and teepees, and this movie is pretty great. If you love the book, you'll appreciate the movie, even though the ending's a little different. Number four... Gray Eagle. This movie is cool. Um, who doesn't like some frontier romance? This is about John Coulter, supposedly, and how his daughter falls in love with a Cheyenne chief. Iron Eyes Cody is reason enough to watch this. He's the famous Indian from the 1970 commercial of The Crying Indian, where he's canoeing through all the litter, and he sees some lady throw a McDonald's bag out the window, and he just... A tear runs down his cheek. Number three, Mountain Men, starring Charlton Heston and, and Brian Keith. This is the all-Mountain Man, Mountain Man movie. It has rendezvous. It's got Indians. It's got trapping. It's a great movie. It's lighthearted with some action in it. It even borrows some famous John Coulter stories. Very entertaining and a must-watch for any Mountain Man. Number two, The Revenant. Yes, The Revenant, one of our newest Mountain Man movies. It's a good one. It's gritty. It feels cold. Just turning that movie on makes you feel cold. And while it strays from the real story of Hugh Glass, it is incredibly entertaining. And uh, Leonardo DiCaprio does a good job. Definitely deserved the Oscars he won. Number one, Jeremiah Johnson, starring Robert Redford. I mean, there's just no way you can compete with this. It is the ultimate mountain man movie. To me, this might be considered the perfect movie. Not just from a mountain man standpoint, but from just a movie making standpoint. It's got it all. It's a coming of age movie. It's a falling in love movie. It's a man versus wild movie. It's, it's everything that you would want in a movie. Plus, it's got an intermission so you can get up and go make some popcorn. 
If you would like some more top tens, let me know in the comments and stay tuned. Thanks for listening to Hawk and Horse.